Hey guys, it looks here back for some more Persona 5. Last time we finished mementos and hung out with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, let's continue. And I think I gotta talk to Sojiro. Yes, I'm interested. Help him out. Yeah. Then you clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. Alright then. That's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? Get any better at remembering how to handle different bean types. Uh, yeah, I guess. Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grind are you supposed to use? Medium fine. Right, keep up the good work. <laughs> this isn't that much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money's money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee, though. Just remember that. Yes, sir. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -hmm. hmm, who could this be? Yes, hello. <coughs> but you get this number. Is that one dude? Now? Where? Fine. Sorry. Something came up. We could keep going with the lesson some other time. Uh, is it trouble? About me. It's nothing you need to concern yourself over. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. It's nice having someone around to help at a time like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah. I feel like my bond with Soldier is growing deeper. Thanks. Ape. Iro. Alright. Your Hierophant confident in Crystal 3. Nothing. The rest is Okay, I'm off. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. Yes, sir. Where, where is he walking to? Beep, 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 beep. Hey, you get everything closed up. Sorry about earlier. I had to take care of some business. But don't worry, I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. I'm ready to work. Raring to go, huh? Some work ethic you got there. Well, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. Been off. That's why it's cold. Thursday, June 9th. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Wow. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. Really? To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. <sighs> he ain't even listening. <laughs> for example... Soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Ooh. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Actually, I wouldn't be snoring, just to clarify. Will this get any more obvious? Yeah. Oh, sleepy. Wow not even listening to what I said. <laughs> so, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Wow. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. <laughs> My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Newscaster. Hey there. You want to be on TV? Sure. Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. 
Uh, yeah. He seems nice. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? <laughs> You're supposed to be acting like good students today. Yeah. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for Alternating Current. Camera. Oh. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on. Hurry up and grab the cables. Oh, cool. Damn it. This sucks. I'll deal with the cables. Ah, what a pain in the ass. This is totally killing my vibe. Just wrap it around your arm. <laughs> we fought valiantly against the long cables. That's why I carry a knife. Make them not long anymore. I'm so pissed off. <laughs> Are we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? Need the job. This is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. <laughs> Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being phantom thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Okay. Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. Huh. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Uh -huh. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Uh -huh. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. Uh, but, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. What about, uh, what about Fox? Uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. <laughs> Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah. Yeah, what do you want? You see another one of the guys? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Ah, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi. Sounds familiar. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Who's Akichi? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh! Was he on the TV? <laughs> on one of the commercials? My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. Okay. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Mm hmm? A pain. Uh, cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Dome town. Oh. Tsui Dobashi. Tsui Dobashi, an entertainment hub built around the stadium, home to many universities, ultimate urban leisure. Enjoy the arcade, spas, theme parks, and more. You'll become a dating expert. All right. You now have information on a new hangout spot. Tsui Dobashi Dome Town. 
You could also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Oh man, this game is getting hey, so much bigger. Should we skip <laughs> the vomit machines and get cake instead? Okay. Yeah, there's so much more than I was expecting in <laughs> right now. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. It was your idea. Dude, it's not fair. Using her cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Hell yeah. Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Evening. It's like a date well, spot. Then. I'm gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's Ryuji's thing. True. Huh? Artist's sudden change of heart came as a huge surprise to the art world. It is still unclear what led to Mr. Madurame to confess his crimes. Hmm. It's just like with Kamashita, right? He doesn't realize what happened to him. What is it? It's not that I don't have anything to do. As you can see, I'm keeping an eye on you right now. Mm. You know, I haven't been in my room in a long time. I don't have any DVD <laughs> Did I just change my clothes? Something I would wear. Oh. You're going to call Kawakami? Let's go. Oh, it's you. I work on Friday and Saturday evenings. So you should request me then. Bye. End up working other than Friday or Saturday. I'll contact you, okay? See you. Oh. I did not know that. Hmm. What do we do? I'm so sorry I failed you, Mother. I may fail to you as your mother. Oh, my son. He shot all paintings, scammed and insulated people, saying so it's not enough. What can I do? What do I have to do? Forgive me. <laughs> Strip. Are you serious? You leave me no choice. I'll bear my body and my soul. My sexy body and my ultra soul. Oh. I go. What would you like? Ooh. Retro gaming console set. Alright, anything I could do. Can I go here? <sighs> Ooh, exhaust. Can I go here? I could buy stuff. You should ask me if I had a recommendation for a pair of reading glasses. I'm not an optometrist. Oh, is it because I have an eye test chart? <laughs> so what do you want to do? Please head to the exam room. Good get. You want? Oh, she changed her. She changed her animation. I see. Oh. <sighs> oh, excuse me. They say health and sickness begin with the mind, and statistically speaking, that seems to be true. What? Prepare yourself for the ultimate drug. It's amazingly effective. You want to try it out? A high schooler, huh? Well, it's not very efficient to force yourself to study for your entrance exams. You're about to experience my best work ever. I'm very proud of it. What do you want to do? I've developed a fantastic new drug. This? The expensive ones work best I because like they contain a number of high-quality ingredients. I can't believe I just bought that It's console. amazingly effective. You want... Okay, which one? Oh. 100 HP. I developed a new medicine that treats a very unique symptom. It's Full quite HP. effective. Oh, shit, I missed all the other stuff. Then. Wonderful. Damn, this is good. 
these two are good. You want that one? Here you go. Oh, did you decide? Thanks. Well, which do you want? You want a shot? <sighs> oh, excuse me. I've developed a fantastic new drug. That sounds really good. <laughs> I don't sell any drugs that don't work. But this also me. sounds really. Prepare I'm gonna save my for money. the ultimate drug. Oh, you're heading home. Well, take care. All right. What's this? Hmm? Your parents won't let me watch TV anymore, too. So I'm allowed to watch just the news. Yeah, I can only watch the news, too. I wonder what else they're gonna do to make them study harder. It's so boring. Even if I turn on the TV, all they just. They only show some old guy crying like a baby. Oh, I made my teacher laugh when I pretended to cry like that old guy. Oh, but I get extra credit. Thursday. Anything on Thursday? I don't know what to do on Thursdays. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh wait, I could just read. Oh. Hey. Oh wait, I got one of these Chinese sweets guidebook to enjoy the sweets found within Chinatown. Make All sure right, you close up. I'm heading home. Beyond the bonds, rediscover the charms of Chinatown. It's Motomachi Chinatown, huh? Wow, the pictures really show how lively that place is. Everything from high-class traditional cuisine to street food like Chao Long Bao. This seems like a fun place to explore and try out all the different cuisine. A new place to hang out? Wow! They finished reading Chinese sweets. So many shops in Chinatown aren't there. Oh my god, there's so many places now. <laughs> Chinatown, Japan's largest Chinatown. Gourmet Chinese restaurants line the streets. 4,000 years of history. Take a walk through a foreign city. Enjoy the stall food and souvenirs. All right. I could go to Motomachi Chinatown. Invite people there. You should invite someone to go to Motomachi Chinatown sometime. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up late isn't healthy, you know. Okay. Friday the tenth. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah, it's Akechi. Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, detective, okay. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, We've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Yeah, get him. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Mm -hmm. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. I didn't do anything. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. I guess. You have a point. 
These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Mm. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Huh. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Press no, guys. Press no. Of course they do. 17? 17%. <laughs> About 30% or so. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? <laughs> I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Yeah. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Uh, I don't like any of these answers. Uh, all these answers suck. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the worst one. They're justice itself. You say that with such firmness. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you... Was a phantom thief? If his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the phantom thieves? Well, we can't because our personas can't change. What would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. He's the snitch. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. I mean, what if we are? But that stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. No. We're gonna attack him. Oh my him. god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Hegel. <laughs> my apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Yeah, definitely. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. I wasn't speaking freely. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. That's because I am the family. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe. And they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. I haven't run yet, because I haven't seen the Reaper. They'd fight to the end. Until the game over. Oh? 
you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. I'm not good at debating. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. Why did you shake with the left hand? I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Seems that Detective Akachi has taken a liking to me. He's the hangman. <laughs> I've already lost who, which <laughs> tarot cards I've got. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. Oh, that's why? The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. You. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Justice. With the birth of the Justice yes. Persona, I have obtained the one's blessing that shall lead to freedom me. and new power. I got the most obvious one. <laughs> Justice. Goro Akichi, you are right. the Justice Confidant using Personas. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. But what do I get out of Justice? And registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Later. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? Yeah, I got his phone number. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Why do you never say my name out loud? Mm. What a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. Beep, 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 beep. That Akachi bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. He just had to say it on live TV too. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Ah, what a nice thing to say. Bill, was that Akachi-kun said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why are you bringing that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are Phantom Thieves, Helen. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarami. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamashita too. We weren't gonna do shit to him though, any kind of normal methods. That's true, but what do you think, Lex? Are we being selfish? <laughs> Can't deny that. It is tough. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the fan thieves or anything. Just you watch, Akachi. Someday, you're totally gonna see who was right. Hey, let's stop talking about this for now. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. How? God, I'm furious! Heard what Akechi said, right, see? How dare he declare the fan of these are criminals. As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm going to show Akichi how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. 
physicist with the Phantom Thief skip doing what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting <coughs> angry about this? Yeah. Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Is he gonna rig it in our favor? <laughs> what? Time for the special edition of Discovery Town Detectives. On these irregularly broadcasted specials, we share limited edition items that are all the rage. They were going to talk about Soothing Soba, the dish that'll help you during the summer heat. On sale now in convenience stores around Tokyo. Expected to sell out fast. Even put some Chinese food to shame. Not surprising you could buy it at convenience stores. Well, it's not Chinese food, right? Yeah. Rainy season ends. Summer begins. Ugh, what a pain. I'll hang out with... Oh. Awakami! Let's call the service. Hi! Thank you for your call. I'm your... your oh, it's just you. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. You could pass by the area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? Cost you 5,000 yen to request me. But this time I'll be sure to do an extra good job. Feel my bond with Kawakami will go stronger soon. Hey! Lost your 5,000 yen, but are you going to call Kawakami over? Big bond. Master! Your homeroom teacher at Shujin Academy. She offers help if you keep quiet about her job as a maid. You know. Hey! If I did the rest of the. the. Uh, mementos, I could have afforded that. <laughs> Great. What? You're really going to request me? I'll be heading over right now then. I'd appreciate if you cleaned up a little first. That'll make my job easier for sure. But you're the maid. <laughs> um... I love cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated groups like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. And doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? I'll tell your <laughs> It does. I hate dust. <laughs> oh, master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This will do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Exhausted. Ugh. I'll have to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my days off, I go I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. Today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I need a lot of strays around my house. I'm surprised that you requested me. I think you would actually would. Expected to do anything weird with me, were you? I don't weird things. <laughs> Gosh, I'm just a maid, so I don't really know. Anyway, stay clear under control and maintain our distance for the sake of our relationship. <laughs> Ugh, I need a nap. Alright, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. Or well, you know what, time's up. Thank you very much. Hey. Oh hey, do you know any of the part-time jobs that pay well? Some you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. Oh. Uh, four. Well, uh... You know... My little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but I was the same amount as last week, I... N no I yes, I understand, okay, goodbye. Ugh. Oh, wrong number. <laughs> hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but... You happen to have 100,000 yen, I could... 100,000?! Wait, never mind. Only one of my students' money would be the worst. You have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. Shouldn't be wasted in on services like this. Uh, this is all for you. Man, I have a head on your thousand. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. 
We're used to my students, so if we were to get involved further, things could get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high school student, after all. I could sense Kawakami's trust in me. Temperance. Rank 2. Alright. The Temperance Confidant has increased to rank 2. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kawakami left. Wonder if I actually had 100,000. Good to take. Oh, this this master. Thank you for using our service today. I really want to. <laughs> I really want to do more cleaning for you. Is that okay, master? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the hard sell? What? No, I just wanted to hear your voice, master. Now you got the right idea. Still, gotta hit my quotas for the week. Mm. Uh, sorry, part of the job. <laughs> okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just gonna drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coding! Oh, well, I hope you'll cuss me again sometime. Bye bye! <laughs> That's funny. Are you watching the broadcast? Random thieves were the bad guys. I guess now that you mention it. I felt that way the whole time. It's just break watching, isn't it? It's really self-centered. True. Art of Phantom Thieves just. 18.8, .8, June 11th, Saturday. Did you catch any of that detective on TV yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are super lame. <laughs> oh, you talked that show? You were super dreadless. <laughs> How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony. There's simply no way that a phantom thieves exist. Fortunately, my precious children all think they're real and worse. This is detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. Mm. Looks like people still don't think we're real. What happened to their ratings? It went up. I'm so pumped! I believe we were on TV yesterday with Akechikun. It's like a dream come true. Can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like Detective Prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool! You, we had front receipts again. I could practically reach out and touch Akechikun. I was so nervous. He was really working in that uniform without seeming like a snob. Like natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the hand of thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say, I love that he hates the media. It makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're going to air it again <laughs> What? Why? Do you have nothing better to show? <laughs> Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Yeah. Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Oh. Chill. Ow! <laughs> You're being way too loud. True. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Who's Amarillo said? Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Those yen yens? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. There were like four pieces left in there. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? Uh, we can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Wanna hang out? We need more girls in our crew. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. 
Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? Yes. My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. Ooh, cat fight. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Mm-hmm. Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? Ooh. You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? <gasps> there wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. Fight, 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 fight. There's no need to shout. Yeah. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Oh. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Akechi. Did I get him? Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. Uh oh. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. What's in the, the lift thing? <laughs> Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you oh, have any painting. ideas who this next hotshot could be? Me, pick me. I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, What's up with that luggage? That's the word. Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at takamaki sens <laughs> I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. <laughs> what? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> You're the impossible one. You prepared to move without a. <laughs> but I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Mm, let me think. That abandoned apartment? <laughs> what about Ryuji's place? Way too small. Plus, my mom had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. No! It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. <laughs> All right, it's decided. I don't want a roommate. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Am I sleeping on the floor then? It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! What was that? What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> That's my name, this guy. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. 
Sit down. This rent will be on the house. What? You're helping, though. Okay. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Yes. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. An unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Now go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh man, nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Um, with me. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. Show you the way. So you're a. Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Is he gonna charge me? Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. <laughs> hmm, sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Nice room. Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Yeah, our teacher cleaned it. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? Akechi. I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? You said Akechi. What about Mishima's site? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Oh yeah. Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. Yes. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. Bro. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. What? So, what do you say? I uh, will finish it with a don. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, my ass? You don't have any cash. I have so much cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Well, we'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. I'm spending all my money on medicine. 
Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Hmm. Is this the bunk bed? <laughs> We're gonna have three... <laughs> three guys in our room. <laughs> hmm. That Akichi guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those birds, though. Let's forget about him for now and we just focus on having fun. Come on. We need to prepare. We discussed where we're going around town to help keep you in the know. Today, we cover Lex's group. They have high appeal among young people and are said to be involved in Mr. Madarame's confession. Their methods are unknown and many are voicing concern that this group may be dangerous, but it seems a lot of people have started talking about the Phantom Thieves. Heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Want to join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. <laughs> hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. He didn't say no. Going with kitchen supplies. I wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. Oh, the right, the one that's being used right now. And an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? Yep. Uh oh. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Huh. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? No. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Beepy beepy. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. To me. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom, phantom thieves are out there helping, helping people, people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I thought it was on the TV. Damn, we oh, ate I can't eat nice, a bite. Nice soda. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What are you looking at? <laughs> What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? <laughs> Just leave it for next time, man. 
She's asleep already? <sighs> It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Got black hair. Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. I'm a felon. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. Oh, the actual story. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, Nobody's got it worse than this guy. <laughs> I'm a criminal. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. You tell the truth. Damn brat! I'll sue! Damn, what the hell happened to your head? If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But. Can I mind crush this guy? It's bullshit. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. Uh -huh. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. Your thing, truck man. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cuff him. Understood. It doesn't look so. Just listen to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? Uh, he was at the restaurant. Uh, oh. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. 
We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. The change is hard. It would lead back to me. <laughs> You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Justice. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. You're a cat. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Fine. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Yep. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> what kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? <laughs> you guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. What about me? Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. <laughs> oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering for a while now. <laughs> Just keep going. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She's a great teammate. Uh, I prefer the doctor. No, oh, that's not what I meant. I prefer Takami. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? Yeah. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though, is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. True. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. Damn artists. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Mm. Still... Ah, it's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! <laughs> Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh... 
I'll contact everyone. <laughs> Man, he's the best voice actor. Uh. Oh. I should write something. What's this? Check out those pics. Oh, we got a new icon. Check out the pictures I took today. Oh, that's cool. Not bad, right? The steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of eating a hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture and Lex's face is still hilarious. Can I go back up? Okay. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Lex's place, right? Don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course. I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. <laughs> All I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot! <laughs> uh, I completely uh, misread how he is. Let's turn Maybe in for like, the night. let's call it a day for... and go to sleep. Mm. I'm to protect my sleeping beauty, no matter what it takes. I'm still awake. I'm not talking about you! Wait, don't leave the shower. You're talking out loud! Did something happen? Are you going to sleep yet? I will be fine here. Sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Mm. It's up to you today. You won't be able to focus on when you feel bahloat. Alright guys, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, actually, let me, let me check one thing. Uh, confidant. Akachi. No justice. Oh. Justice. Year high school detective from another school seeks the culprit of psychotic breakdowns. One of us getting a cab, and they use his detective's intuition led him to Lex. Uh, what does this do? Chance to reveal one enemy's affinity at the start of battle. Okay, not that interesting. Anyway, uh, I'll end it here, and next time we'll prepare for the next operation. <laughs> it's rushing. See ya. Bye.